Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. In this video, I will introduce key UX improvements in the GemPages version 7. The newly added features will also take your building experience to the next level. Now let's get started. One of the most highlighted UX updates in GemPages version 7 is the vertical alignment. This feature comes in handy when you want to align content in sections, rows, and products for better appearance and increased conversion rate. The vertical alignment feature is only available for rows with more than two columns. Now I will demonstrate how this feature works by inserting a two column row element into the design area. Let's start by adding an image to the left and a heading to the other. As you can see, the content is top aligned by default. I will try each of the alignment options to see the difference. This is considered one of the optimal upgrades from version 6 because you will need to enable the equal height feature and then change the setting accordingly. Moreover, the setting looks less intuitive than the new version. Next, the smart upgrade for responsiveness is another highlight of version 7. We removed the laptop screen and only keep three screen types desktop, tablet, and mobile. Less screen types means you can save more resources while making responsive designs. Moreover, the upgraded row element settings helps arrange the column's display order more flexibly on different devices. Let's see an example, shall we? For a session like this, it is better to alternately arrange the images and blocks. However, after switching to mobile, these vertically displayed columns don't seem very user-friendly. Luckily, in version 7, you can easily adjust the column order, thus enhancing customer experience. Previously, you would have to add custom codes, which might require further support from our CS technical team. Version 7 includes a significant upgrade in column width with a new feature called Fit Content. This feature allows for a flexible display of multiple contents on the same row, based on the width of the column within the rows. You can see the difference when I apply the Fit Content feature. It also controls the spacing between elements for more than two columns. The theme header and footer also witnesses a notable improvement, which lets you customize the display of the header and footer based on your customer's needs. There are two ways you can change header and footer settings in this version. Change settings in the Publish settings, then Header and Footer section. Or switch directly within the frame by hovering the mouse over the header, footer area, and clicking the settings icon. Additionally, you have the option to hide or show two components together or individually, which was not possible in version 6. In version 7, users can now add a new section from the library, from URL, upload image, to any position on the page, instead of being automatically rendered at the bottom of the page, like in version 6. In terms of third-party integration, you can now drag and drop from the left sidebar to display multiple third-party widgets. In the previous version, you would have to add elements in the library and turn separate apps on or off. Search element settings represent another UX upgrade that is not applicable in version 6. Now you can search for settings in an element. Convenient, right? GemPages version 7 now offers additional image format options, such as WebP, which is recognized for its high quality and low file size. This feature can improve your website's loading speed and ultimately increase your conversion rate. These are the main UX improvements of GemPages version 7. As always, listening to the customers, GemPages ceaselessly upgrades the features that could be better in the previous versions. Therefore, version 7 becomes an optimal solution for better performance by applying one of the most up-to-date technologies, including AI. Try GemPages version 7 today to elevate your page building experience. Thanks for watching.